Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Webnode to create a free website. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data cell images under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start or how do we create a free website on Webnode? Well, first things first is you need to go to their official website, which is going to be webnode.com. Now, in this case, we need to create our account. So at the top right, you could go ahead and click on the create a website button at the top right. And from here, you could go and enter your website name, your email address, and the password that you want to use for your website. But you also have the option here to continue with either your Google account or your Facebook account. So for example, let's just enter a website name. So for example, this is going to be my website name here. Let's go ahead and enter either use or uh, register manually here, but I'm going to use my Google account here uh, for easy access. And from here, we just need to provide our email address. So let's go ahead and enter that. Now on the next page, go ahead and provide your password. Click on next. And from here, that should log us in. So let's just confirm this via our mobile device. So in this case, it's going to ask you what are you going to create. So you could either create an online store, website, or blog. So depending on what your goal here. So for example, if you want to create an online store, choose online store here. You could use a blog here, which in this case, you could publish articles or basically uh, self-reflections if you want to. But in this case, we'll be using website here. So it's just a basic one. So you have two options here on creating your website. So you could use the assistance of AI here. So you just need to answer a few questions and AI would actually help you uh, build your website. But you could also select from your templates that is available on Webnode. So for example, we're going to use select a template here since we want to further explore what no Webnode has to offer to us. Now, in their templates, you should be able to use the following templates. Now, the great thing about their website is they actually have different categories here to choose from. So that includes blogs, uh, service maintenance, business and consulting. So depending on what you need, you should be able to get your own type of uh, website here. So they cater to different websites or different categories from. Like for example, we want to actually create a specific website here like for example for a uh, business consultants or for example barber shop here let's go ahead and choose this one and from here it should choose or you should it should actually choose that specific template and it's going to apply that into our website so we'll be showing you the basic tools or the basic things that you need to do here or you need to know for in order for you to start using the actual platform so it's going to give you some steps on how to use it. So you could go and read it through all of them, but we'll be also showing you how to do things here. Like for example, editing the elements, managing your pages, adding it or changing pages here. I have the option to also just a few uh, settings on your pages, changing the background itself, go ahead and click on continue. So let's go ahead and, go ahead and start editing here. So first things first is going to be our pages. So to the top left, you should see pages. Now from here, by default, you have the following options to basically view your pages. So you have by default home, you have price list, contact, and barbershop. Now in this case, depending on what page you uh, click here or access, you have the option to either show them in your navigation menu, or you could also restrict access to a page if you want to. And if you want to further edit their SEO set page settings, you can go ahead and do that by, for example, entering a page title, pay, uh, page address or URL, meta description, keywords, custom uh, HTML header code, and a lot more. So if you want to include uh, SEO things here, you, you should be able to add it. Now, in this case, uh, you can also add a new page by clicking on the add page at the top right here and choosing a template that is available here. So, for example, maybe I want to use a template here for FAQs. I'm going to choose this one. Click on choose. From here, you can change the page name. So, let's go ahead and choose create here. But again, you can change the name itself. Now, that should create our page here and you should now be able to start editing, editing it. In this case, how do we edit our websites here? So in this case, for you to edit your website here, you just need to go to the specific element that you want to edit. For example, if you want to change the name at the very top here, you go ahead and click on it. And from here, you could go and click on add logo if you want to. Go ahead and click on upload image and just choose the image that you want to use. So for example, I want to use this one, but this is just an example. Let's go and click on open. And from here, let's go ahead and wait for it to upload, but it should now be uploaded and we now have a logo. 
Now, if you want to change the actual uh, text, you can go ahead and click on it, highlight it, and just basically st start typing anyways. So in this case, I'm going to say this is going to be my shop here. And same thing for text, you could go ahead and click on it and even change if it's bold or italic, the font and style itself if you want to, the size if you want to. So for example, let's go ahead and ch choose test here. From here, if you want to change FAQs to frequently asked questions, you can go ahead and do that as well. Also have the sections here for FAQs itself. So if you want to choose the style, like for example, style one, style two, if you want to change that. So yeah, so there are going to be different styles to choose from. Now, if you want to edit the actual text, you can go ahead and just double click on that frequently asked question section and just basically start typing anyway. So for example, just add a test here. Now, if you want to delete that, go ahead and click on delete here. Now, if you want to add or move this around, you can go ahead and click on move and choose a page where you want to move it. So in this case, you could do that on other elements that is available here. So in this case, uh, for example, if you want to add another section, you go and click on plus button here. And that should add another section and just basically start adding your frequently asked questions again. So for example, we want to add four here. So in this case, let's go ahead and double click on it and we want to add four. And if you want to reposition things here, you can just basically press and hold on that specific element. So press and hold on it. And from here, make sure you're not selecting your text itself. So move the body and move it at the very bottom, as you can see right now. Now, if you want to add other sections as well, you can go and click on the plus button just underneath that section. And you could either choose blank text and image to text columns, headings, and a lot more if you want to, by portfolio, newsletter registration, and a lot more. So depending on what you need, they actually give you the option to actually uh, view them. So for example, photo gallery here, just to give you an example. From here, you could choose what images are going to be shown here. So in this case, you go and click on edit. You could go and upload your images if you want to. But yeah, so again, there are certain things that you could change here depending on the element. Like for example, three columns or four columns. So you could choose whatever you want here. So also at the top left, you have your settings. So settings actually contains your the form of the name itself, settings. So settings are general settings for your website. So for example, domain. So if you have a specific domain that you want to use, you, you could actually click on register a new domain here via their website, or you could use an existing domain that you've already paid for if you want to. You also have email accounts here, but again, some features uh, that is available on Webnow here requires you to have a upgraded plan if you want to fully utilize them. In this case, we have web website editors, you can invite them, website settings, Google Analytics, Google AdSense if you want to. We have also the sign here if you want to change the icon for Favicon and a lot more. So if you're using an online store here, you could go ahead and manage it in here. Now you could also back up and recover, uh, access backup and recovery here. And if you want to add languages, this is where you'll be able to edit them. Now, if you want to upgrade your plan, you can go and click on upgrade at the top right and you should redirect you to another page, which in this case, you could choose your plan and whatever you want to use here. So in this case, the plan that is available here is actually uh, quite uh, diverse. We have Profi, Standard, Mini and Limited if you want to. Also, if you want to access your account, you can go and click on the personal icon here and view your projects, your account and knowledge base. Or if you want to just learn more, you can either use get in touch or knowledge base here. So for example, when you go to my projects here, it should show you all the websites that you have right now on your account. So if you, you could go basically create a new website if you want to and repeat the whole process. But once you're done, you can go ahead and just click on publish at the top right here. And that should actually publish your website, which is something really cool. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on the link itself, click on the share button here, either email, or Facebook, or just click on copy link. And your website should now be published, which is uh, something really cool that Webnode actually offers us. So you have the capabilities of creating your website as well as publishing them. But yeah, so in this case, uh, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.